Guys, we are in the hospital. I'm taking son, Chloe at his side. Chloe to the hospital. Like something is stuck in her nose. Okay. I've just taken Uber quickly. We are here at the Nanu hospital. Oh my god, I hope everything got my kid. Why? Bleeding. The girl is bleeding. We are going to the main hospital. Guys, we finally got to the main hospital, and yeah, because the hospital I went to is a branch of it, of the Nairobi hospital, and they told me they don't have those equipment there. I have to go to the main hospital because that's where the I can get the surgery for Chloe. Yeah, it's a minor. It was a minor surgery, but that's where it could have been done. They don't have the equipment at the at that clinic that I went to. So I had to go to the main hospital. And Chloe cried for long. Here we were done. But Chloe cried for hours and hours. I'm telling you it wasn't a joke. I don't know why you left me, please. Hi guys, you're back home. And what I had panicked. Hmm? I have never panicked like that. Chloe was like literally bleeding her nose was bleeding hmm? yeah, if you see her clothes here she was bleeding manzi but we have gone we went to we had to go to a surgeon imagine we had to go to a surgeon and then he performed the procedure and the thing was removed but there it was like she was like saying she removed it quickly within a second she was it was removed but she, uh, it was a struggle like the the one nose was like full of blood Mm -hmm. So she was like, maybe we need to sedate her because she was like throwing tent like she didn't want to be held down. Like they literally had to call other doctors to become four doctors to hold her down so that like she can be steady and see so that she can be removed. You know, it cannot be removed if she's moving. I have panic and that thing I will never use it again in my life. I'm just done with that. Things and as well as parent, I think I've ever done a video on how to remove mucus on Chloe's nose and Sandy, but hey, I'm done. I'm never gonna do use it again, guys. I'm just gonna throw it in the dustbin. I'm done. Today was just panic. I just when I was removing the mucus and then I noticed it stuck there. I just took Uber quickly and went to the hospital and <sighs> what? Anyway, I'm just glad. But then we got home on time, like. We went in the morning and uh, by three we were back. Hey, the Uber guy is the good guy. He knows the the roads. That guy I was telling you guys of mine. Like he went through the shortcuts and all that. And we reached Sunday school on time. And we picked her up and came back home. Because I was like, I had called the school and told them that. Um, I'm sure I'll be home on time. So you guys can delay Sunday in school. Uh, for a while, uh, I'll just come and pick her uh, in school myself. So that's what happened. And I'm glad it's done. And we have been given some medicine to clear out the blood. But yeah, I'll show you guys that. But eh, I'm glad. So guys, this is what was stuck in Chloe's nose. Can you guys imagine? This is what... How, you see how big it is? This is what it was stuck in Chloe's nose. And uh, imagine she was even bleeding. Like, it was like... What the most scariest situation ever in my life? My God! Yeah, I told the doctor. He, the doctor asked me, "Do you wanna take it?" I was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I'll take it." And remember the day that eh, I almost like fainted out of uh, fear attacks. Oh my gosh! What have ever gone through these guys? Comment below. So, guys, this is the medicine that Chloe was given. We just sprayed in her nose because she had a lot of bleeding, so we needed to stop the bleeding. So the doctor gave us this. Ah, oh, hey, Sandy! To stop her bleeding, like you, to help her breathe and stop the bleeding from the nose and the blocked nose. So this is what she was using. Guys, you you remember I had told you that <clears throat> uh, Chloe had a plastic stuck in her nose. So that day that she had a plastic stuck in her nose, uh imagine that day uh, my laundry lady was here to wash clothes so she had soaked all the clothes uh and was she was washing them like she was in the process of washing them she had literally washed our clothes me and hubby's clothes and she had soaked uh Kina sandy's clothes 
So they were there and I told her to stop because I had to rush Sandy to hospital. So when they came back, uh, she said like she cannot come back the next day because the next day she normally goes to someone else. So I had to wash the clothes. Oh my God, that is the worst week of my life. Imagine your kid getting, uh, going to surgery. Then you have to wash clothes and the way I react, I react with uh, detergent so much. My hands get burnt when I wash clothes. My hand literally always get burnt, but. I was like, I have to wash Sandy's clothes because, like, uh, she didn't have clothes to go to school on uh, Monday. You understand? So I had to wash them, and then they were soaked. Like, I couldn't wait until Monday for the house, uh, for the laundry lady to come and wash the clothes. So I had to wash them because they could stink. If they stay in water until Monday, they would stink. But like, my hands were hurting so badly. My hands were peeled off so badly, but like I really didn't have any option because they were soaked and it wasn't her fault because she had already started, but my God, my kid got sick. You understand? Yeah. But I watched them and I finished all of them guys. Look at that. Like I did all that work. Can you imagine that? OMG. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby up with a slow motion crew. And we up in the growlings when people change, but not us. And we just chillin', kicking it, kiss by the sun. Could be soaked to the skin in the mall soon. I know she got the good vibes when seasons change, but when. So this is the dinner that I was making. I was making like a baked potatoes with some goat meat. Yes, that's what we were eating for dinner. That's what I made for my family. And it was amazing. It was tasting so sweet. At least at the end of it all, despite the fact that we went to hospital, despite the terror and all that, at least we ate an amazing meal for dinner. I don't know why you left me bleeding. With a broken heart to me if I deserve this feeling And guys, it's like the devil was testing me Imagine after Sandy, uh, Chloe got sick and she got better I was called to school that Sandy is sick Sandy was sick These snacks, I was buying this snack at Carrefour Because Sandy will, they had not eaten anything So yeah, I was called to school that Sandy was sick yeah, imagine in the evening I was called that Sandy was sick. She was puking. She had a very high fever. So like I took her to the hospital, but then we were there on Thursday, on Friday. This is where you see Chloe is on Friday because we went to Thursday at night and then we came back home because I, like I told the doctor, I don't want her to sleep there. I didn't want her to be admitted. We went and then we came back and then Sandy got sick literally at the middle of the night. She puked even worse than before so like i even regretted why i didn't let her to be admitted so we went back but this time around uh hubby had gone somewhere for some few hours so i had to go with uh chloe also but thank god for la stroller because like yeah it always makes your life easy and i took sandy to hospital once again but thank god we came back the, the same day Machete. Hello. Mama, baby. No, no, no. You feel better? Good job, Chloe. Chiku Kati, Claire and Chiku Ka. Ka vizuri baba. Mfunze, amuko mfunze sandi kwanja. Mwonyesha. Guys, this is her medicine. These are like three. There are like so many. They had like four packs. Uh, there's another packet there for Sandy. 
and there is another one there and then um this one but the others are even for mixing in food imagine she has so many medicine others you mix them with food and others in the fridge let me show you there's this also you put it in the fridge so that doesn't spoil doesn't expire something doesn't spoil i think um you see the you hear her coughing there's also this you put it in the fridge doesn't uh spoil and my house is in a mess because like for two days we couldn't do any couldn't do anything like look at the dishes they're not many because hubby forced himself yesterday to wash the dishes because it was like hey if we continue like this we not do anything like we slept two days continuously sleeping we didn't even eat no one was feeling like eating you just eat you feel you puke imagine but you're all better now we thank god i think sandy when she got sick she like infected all of us with it. i don't know what kind of flu that was anyway for me i was thinking what was maybe it could have been covid low type of covid i don't know guys but i'm just glad that we are better now <coughs> i hope you guys can hear me because we have a very bad flu the whole family actually can never give me peace the whole family actually when we got off the hospital on uh on Friday, we all, all of us, you know, we went, there, we were there on hospital on Thursday and Friday. So on a Saturday, when he out of the hospital, we all felt sick. My hubby, me, Chloe, Sandy, and yani we got one, our flu, like all our, we had body pains and all that. Yeah, even better now, but today is Monday. I decided Sandy shouldn't go to school. She should go tomorrow. Yeah, we feel better today, but... I think uh, I just wanted to give her an off for today and then she'll go back to school tomorrow. Have to this thing. So yeah, Aki, we were all of us were sick, but we thank God we are better. But Sandy has a lot, lots of medicine to take. But we thank God that she's feeling she's feeling better now. Guys, so like I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was so hard for me to even edit because of, like I am I shouldn't post this week, but I like I forced myself and I'm like, let me just post. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share if you're in a position to do so. Until my next one. Bye. You guys can hear how my voice is low.